Okay, I I had unrequited love. That is my theme. That is love that is given but it is not returned. And the three poems that exemplify that are The Passionate Shepherd to His Love by Marlowe, The Nymph, the Nymph's Reply to the Shepherd by Walter Raleigh, and Dover Beach by Matthew Arnold. So my main argument was in the three poems, I felt that um, Unrequited Love shows its uh, one-sided essence through um, an overbearing tone, um, the point of view in each one of the poems, and also the clear use of figurative language. And so I will be starting with uh, Marlowe's poem, The Passionate Shepherd to His Love. Um, so I felt that his point of view that he was writing as um, really um, shows no consideration for the person he is talking to. And so that kind of makes the reader wonder, is there really someone who he's talking to? Um, but taking a step back, um, he, the, from the person's point of view, uh, he only cares about what he wants. He um, describes the, um, the person who he's talking to through different... Um, uses of imagery like pastures and stuff like that and um, he also uses wordplay like fields um, um, kind of paired up with fields and that um, creates a lonely and wanting feeling um, within the poem also um, there is no reply within the poem and that kind of gives who he is talking to no voice. Not sure if I already said that, but that is just very, I'm not going to say fishy because that's kind of informal, but uh, suspicious. Next, I'm going to talk about Raleigh's poem, The Nymph's Reply to the Shepherd. And so in this poem, Unrequited Love is clearly exemplified, and it references back to Marlowe's poem as well to make this more clear. It is the nymph is replying, uh, Walter Raleigh is replying in the nymph's voice to um, Marlowe's um, statements. And so this reply is very satirical, and it this um, kind of satirical tone is used to ridicule the shepherd. And so this the nymph's point of view um, really is saying that the shepherd's promise is unrealistic. And this, and a, a very large point I made is, and I read about this, is um, time and how time plays a huge factor in the nymph's reply. And so, um, Shepard is not taking into account that things change throughout time and the love that he is describing uh, cannot be eternalized realistically. And so that is what he is promising. And the nymph is ridiculing him and trying to say that he only cares about himself truly and he is not giving um, really the nymph the chance to say what she wants. And lastly, I'm going to be talking about Arnold's poem, which is Dover Beach. And so Dover Beach is um, very hard on imagery. And so this can either be taken two ways um um does it show satisfied and pleasurable um environment or is the speaker um in a state of lonely calmness and so that's what i took it when i read it and i kind of felt that um this tranquil tranquility shown in the imagery um really is current throughout the first three stanzas but then the tone shifts to sudden desperation when it hits the fourth stanza as he is inviting who he loves to share this beautiful moment with and so is this invitation out of sadness and i think the answer to that is absolutely yes and um Lastly, my point is, throughout the poem, you can tell that this person has been, been in this setting for a long period of time, and 
this shows him this what he is saying it shows that he has had a lot of time to think and observe and this exemplifies loneliness and unrequited love and so that is it miss you mr de